I'm going to actually go in and increase the abrasive a little bit in it, add a little bit more. You'll notice on here I don't have any dust into the cabinet because I'm shooting with a very lean mixture. It's a little bit richer now. Do what? Pressure right now is at 20 pounds. If I want more abrasive, what I do is take this valve right here and turn it counterclockwise. And here I went back and put in the 332nds of the tip in it, uh, which is a 90 thousandths. It's going to cut much faster, but the area uh, that it's going to cut is a little bit wider too. But you'll notice that in this one, it's not going to take about probably about half the time to cut because I have a lot more abrasive, even though it's still lean. Uh, and you're not going to see a lot of abrasive in the booth itself as I sandblast here because we do have a lean mixture uh, We're still running about 50 pounds of pressure on it. So it's going to cut out pretty fast Again, I'm going to use both hands to do the guiding of the gun We're going to add this little bit more abrasive to it to the side we're in the process of pulling it off now to see what it's going to look like. We're going to probably be between uh, 5 and 10 pounds. And actually I'm going to shoot right onto the plastic here. Watch see the plastic. I'm going to work over just a little bit where I can just get the edge of it. And really I'm just getting sort of the overspray on it. Okay. Now if I got shot right onto the glass itself, it would make real white. Another popular thing to do is uh, a ceramic coffee cup where you go in and shoot all the way through the glaze and the color on it uh, into the white to give you uh, a nice contrast. What we're going to do on this one here is go in and sandblast it. What we're going to do is take uh, another permit stencil, which is a fish here. Uh, sand busted onto a coffee cup. This particular coffee cup is a black coffee cup. This gives you some good contrast between uh, the black and the white. As we sand blast through the glaze on this, down through the color, you'll see the white coming out. With this particular one, we're going to go to a 332nd nozzle. Uh, this one here. Still, we're going to blast at 20 pounds of pressure, and we're just going to hold this on with our hand and go in and blast it. If you want to keep the stencil from moving and you're not uh, well experienced at uh, blasting these like this, you can always go in and take a piece of tape, tape it down so it doesn't move on you. Since we're only busting at 20 pounds of pressure, it's going to take a little bit longer uh, to get through the uh, glaze on this as if it was blasting at 40 pounds of pressure. We're going to increase the ratio mixture just a little bit on it, give us a little bit more abrasive. Just careful when you get close to the edge here that you get in a little bit closer so you don't overspray on it. See if we can get the dots to come out here. They're looking pretty good. Just an area right down in here. We'll go in and get that one again. We'll take it off, uh, take the stencil off of it, wipe it off, and as you can see, now we do have a fish on it. We didn't have any overspray around this area here or down through here or anything. Uh, so now we have a fish on it, gives us a, a real nice look on it. We're going to take a stencil, put it on the glass. Could be a fragrance bottle or 
glass or a mirror. We're just going to hold this on. Just hold this in place. You could also put this on, put a piece of tape on it, keep it from moving on you. We're going to hold this about one inch from the stencil. Then we're going to get in and just blast the design around it. Take the stencil off. It's that easy to go in and sandblast. Again, we are sandblasting this around 18 pounds of pressure. Again, if you're going to blast, all you have to do is just push down on the trigger here, and it'll allow you to blast. Let go of the trigger, and it stops. And we've cut a permanent stencil on this because we have about 30 of these trophies to do, and the only thing that's going to change on the trophy is the category sandblast this on, on the front and look at it from the front. We're going to shoot this again with the small tip, 1 16th of an inch, at uh, 20 pounds of pressure. This is mostly a surface edge, so it's really not going to go real deep since we're not going to add any color to it. 